in my kitchen now so just got to the gym filming in the car for a change uh, I'm pretty excited to work out. I think I'm just gonna do a little like full body day I'm like not in the mood to do my usual cardio. So I'm gonna do something. I don't know. Maybe we'll play around with it Maybe I'll do some hit or maybe I'll do uh, Maybe I'll run. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see but I feel like I definitely need to foam roll definitely need to stretch out and just do a nice and quick little workout i'm excited this is going to be the last workout of 2023 and i am just so thrilled to leave this year behind and start fresh speaking of which i don't think i even introduced myself hi hello welcome to my channel my name is diana if you're new if you're not new welcome back it's sunday it's 7 40 i just got to golds you can sort of kind of maybe see it anyways gonna get this workout done and then i think i'm gonna treat myself to a little chocolate croissant if i have time before work it's gonna be a really good day i have a couple of fun plans so i'm excited I just got home from the gym. I did not have time to get my croissant, unfortunately, but it's okay because I'll treat myself somehow today. I'm just not sure with what, but right now I need to make breakfast. I just threw in my work clothes into the dryer, so hopefully they dry really quickly, and I'm not sure what I wanna eat because I was really counting on that croissant. So let's, let's figure it out together. I think it's way too cold for a smoothie, so. All right, I think we'll do some yogurt, some strawberries, and some scrambled eggs and a little bit of avocado keep it simple i think i'll also have uh, a protein shake just like one serving because this will only be 30 grams of protein or actually no i'll save the protein shake for uh after work I've already started digging in, but here's my little yogurt bowl with dates, strawberries, honey, and the yogurt, and then scrambled eggs with avocado. Hi, I just came home from work. I barely filmed when I came home from the gym because I was in a rush, but it's four o'clock and I'm about to have myself a day and I'm looking forward to it. First things first is taking a shower. I had, it was a pretty busy morning, which is really nice because I feel like it made up for yesterday. Yesterday, I didn't make like as much money as I did today. So I'm really happy that I ended up picking up today's shift. So I'm feeling really good about that. But with that said, I think I'm gonna drive over to Home Goods and get myself some new bedding. So that is the plan. And I really wanna go get some ice cream, like a tub, but like a pint of ice cream. But we'll see. I'll either get a pint or I'll get a little cup for myself. I'm gonna have some protein before I go out and about. Tomorrow I might end up going to work earlier than anticipated so we'll see but i'm excited to just like relax for the rest of the night and have the day to myself so let's let's see let's see where the day takes this i know a bunch of my coworkers are going out tonight and i don't know if i'm like in the mood for that i'm gonna keep my 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 um my mind open maybe i will maybe i won't maybe i'll just stay at home and relax like i initially planned Maybe, maybe I'll go out for one drink. We'll see. We'll see where the day takes us or the night, I guess. I figure I might as well show you everything that I'm having today. So this is just an espresso pod with some honey. I'm obsessed with this honey. It's so delicious. Don't know what it is, but this is my new thing. Having coffee with honey. It's so good. I don't know if it's this honey in particular or what. It's so good. Also protein shake time. I'm just gonna do a scoop. I still don't know what I'm gonna have for dinner. I was thinking about the vodka pasta, but at the same time, I'm kind of feeling like having my very basic meal of beef and Japanese sweet potatoes. Call me basic, but it's my, I love it. I just, I enjoy it too much. I'm honestly so excited for the new year. I'm so excited for like, for 2023 to just be done and i'm excited for this new chapter in life of just like a fresh start because i feel like every time that it's the new year it's just it's like a clean slate it's like buying a new journal you know what i mean you can just like 
make new mistakes and learn from your mistakes and i'm also putting collagen in i don't know if i mentioned that but anyways i don't know i'm just like for whatever reason a part of me is like diana you're gonna wake up a brand new person tomorrow that is how i feel i started journaling yesterday a few like goals that i have for the new year and just i just like kind of did a little bit of self-reflection but i didn't really finish so i definitely want to do that tonight i kind of want to take a bath tonight and do like a face mask and whatnot so i'll show you everything that i do i did mention that i ha i found this like itinerary on instagram that this like influencer posted and i kind of want to follow it so i'll show you what it is and i'll show you what i end up doing but i did write one for myself as well let me tell you what I've got so far. So, I did my laundry this morning and I went to the gym. I didn't get a chocolate croissant, but I think I'm going to get ice cream instead. I wanted to get a bottle of Pinot Noir and some flowers, but I think it's fine without it because I think I'm going to have some white wine instead. I want to get bleh, go to Home Goods for new bedding. I already mentioned that. And I already said that I want to do a face mask, put the new bed together. I want to just like relax and listen to like a good Spotify playlist today. Take a bath, exfoliate, put on a really comfy outfit, have some wine, create a vision board for 2024, make dinner, edit some YouTube videos, watch something that is like one of my comfort movies and potentially watch the ball drop, I don't know. And then brain dump what I'm wishing, brain dump slash what I'm wishing for in 2024 and then pick a word to focus on in the new year. That's that's what I have so far. That's that's my on my agenda. We shall see what we end up getting to. I'm trying to film a what I eat in a day video. Cheers. I am back. I ended up getting a couple of things that I will show you. I'm so I'm kind of upset because I did not get bedding, but there was literally nothing that was good and i don't want to like waste money on garbage plus there was nothing cotton and i really want cotton so i think what i'm gonna do is i'm just gonna save it and invest into some high quality bedding eventually but i did get a couple of goodies they were closing i got there like 45 minutes before closing time and <laughs> i re remembered why i don't like going to stores like home goods and like I like TJ Maxx because it's like in walking distance and it's not that bad but like it's just so cluttered and there's just so much stuff that it just makes me like kind of like anxious and it makes me feel like I'm just like ugh, like there's just too much there's just too much junk and I don't know what it is but I just I used to love home goods but not anymore maybe it's just because I don't like that one who knows anyways I got some um cotton towels so some hand towels for the bathroom i'm gonna throw away all the ones that i have now and then i just got some white cotton shower towels so i'm going to take all of these and toss them into the washer right now so that they're ready for me to go for they're ready to go for me so we'll do that yeah so just some towels and hand towels body towels and hand towels why 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 what is wrong with me and then i got some really nice candles just two big ones and these are going to be perfect i feel like for the new year because all of mine i actually really need to use mine up because they're like holiday i even have one from halloween so i have this problem when it comes to candles where i always want to save them but then i'll have a candle for like forever and i'll end up hoarding them if that makes sense like Halloween is obviously over, but I still have a Halloween candle. Anyways, I got this Pecksniff's Force Therapy Happiness Candle. Experience a journey through through the English woodland with aromatic, er, aromatic tomato leaves and orange blossom to lift the senses. Anyways, this just smells phenomenal. It does actually smell like tomato. Not in a bad way. I know that sounds weird. And then I got this one, which smells like a very... Uh, it has like a very light masculine scent to it. I love it. Okay, so here's the plan. I'm about to change into some very cozy clothes. I honestly don't feel like going anywhere today. Like, I think I'm gonna stick with my original plan. I just, I don't want to. I don't want to go anywhere. I'm gonna change into some comfy clothes. I'm gonna toss my 
new towels into the washroom. I think I'm gonna try to like maybe declutter a little bit, turn on some good music, drink some wine, make some dinner. Also, when I was driving, I was kind of getting stressed because there's so many cars everywhere. It was like, honestly, a shit show. And people were like piled up. And I was just like, I don't wanna have to deal with this. I feel like getting an Uber is gonna be like really annoying. I'm trying to take the uh, price tags off without like ruining the jar. Anyways, I just feel like staying at home. Plus, I'm gonna work early or like in the after early afternoon tomorrow. And I think that after my workout, I wanna go sit at Juista and like have a croissant and some coffee and just have like a really slow morning. So I think it would be better to just stay in. I don't know. I'm so such a grandma okay I think I think I've, I've got this anyways that's the plan and then I think I want to try to watch something interesting tonight maybe start a new book as well we'll see we'll see where the night takes us and plus I need to figure out dinner so my original plan was to make vodka pasta and then I was like now I'm gonna just like you eat my usual meal but then I was like it is New Year's after all so I feel like I should try to make something interesting i almost stopped by whole foods again to get some salami because i'm really craving some cheese and salami but i was like watch it be insane in there just like watch i need to go there and get eggs anyway so maybe i'll go tomorrow or something or within the next few days i don't know also i think i'm gonna take some medicine not like meds meds but just like vitamin c some ginger or something like that because Everybody at work is sick, and it was freezing at work today. Like, actu I was actually uncomfortably cold. So I'm kind of, I don't want to like risk getting sick. Plus, when I worked out this morning, it was also freezing in the gym. And of course, of course, naturally, naturally, I was not dressed for that kind of weather. So, I just want to like, I don't want to take any chances. So, anyways, I'm going to turn on some music, turn on the t TV, have something playing in the background, and I think I'm going to take all of my Christmas stuff off, which it's not much, it's like three little things, but yeah, look, I took the price tag off, so now it's a beautiful gray candle. Anyways, let's go change first. Alexa, play my wine and cigarettes playlist on Spotify. bought me this exact same bottle for my birthday i think for my 21st birthday not 22nd or 23rd 22nd or 23rd and i hated it my taste buds have changed so much because this is amazing love it This looks incredible. Single serving vodka pasta with meatballs. Tell me something that's better. 
This looks so good. I'm so excited to eat this. Okay, I know it doesn't look like much, but I've done so much cleaning. Took all of the Christmas decor from this area, took the lights off this. I cleaned this situation out, like reorganized all of this. These still need to get reorganized, but I'm feeling so good. Those are Christmas candles still. I need to like burn them out. Cleaned up the majority of the kitchen. I just need to wipe the counters down. Just kind of reorganized a couple of things. Put the fruit basket back there. I had like a stand with a cookbook there, but I'm kind of tired of it. I know this looks like a mess, but I reorganized all of it and put all of my makeup stuff there. I feel like it's been a very productive day. And honestly, I'm tired. But I'm going to make some, I'm going to make my magnesium drink first. And I'm also going to make some tea and just like relax for the rest of the night. Um, definitely will journal and do my 2024 goals and whatnot and do a little bit of self-reflection. I'm going to have some cereal because I'm actually still hungry. <laughs> and I think I'm going to watch something. I have Gossip Girl playing right now in the background, but I want to watch like, I think something else. I think I want to watch you for some reason. I don't know why, but anyways, I'm going to be waking up early tomorrow so that I could get some work done before going to the gym. Morning times are my most productive times. Like I feel productive right now, but all of the stuff that I did was like house stuff and whatnot. I don't know what it is, but like editing, writing, all of that, I can't do it in the evening time. My brain just does not function that way. I'm my best first thing in the morning, so going to wake up early and get some stuff some editing done tomorrow but anyways yeah I'll s probably i'll still vlog a little bit the rest of the night it's only it's almost nine but um it's almost my bedtime <laughs> for my nightly drink i'm actually very much so looking forward to this it's 10 i'm going to make my drink then get into bed and do my reflection and a little bit of journaling set some intentions for the new year i can't believe tomorrow is 2024 like what how did we get here i'm just mind blown okay I think I'm going to go to the gym a little bit later than usual tomorrow because that was wrong. because I ended up I was supposed to go into work a little bit earlier than than, I was, than initially, but I'm back to my original time, which is at 4 p.m. So I have plenty of time tomorrow. I want to go to Whole Foods tomorrow and pick up a couple of yogurts because I don't know what it is, but. Ever since I got that Siggy's, like I had it this morning and I had it the night before, I'm just very much so craving it. So I just want to stock up on a couple. I have them as like dessert or like even for breakfast. I feel like it's such an easy way to get some protein in and it's so yummy with some fresh fruit. It's going to be so good. And I can't wait for my bananas to ripen because they're still really green and I love, love, love yogurt bowls with banana or like i have some cottage cheese in the fridge that would be so good with banana as well clearly I'm, I'm, i've eaten so i sat on the couch and i had two bowls of cereal i had another chocolate cup chocolate coconut cup and i had what else did i have a bunch of chocolate like i've been like snacking so i'm feeling pretty like full but at the same time kind of hungry speaking of Still need to go to Target and get more of these. I also need to get... Is is there ever like a time where I don't need to get something? Be, I, I don't think so. Um, what I was going to say is that I want to go get more liquid IVs. But I'm almost certain that at this point they're not even on sale anymore. So when I go get... If I go get Celsius tomorrow at Target, which I probably won't regardless. Well, actually, I need to get shampoo and I was going to go to Target for that. So whatever, regardless, I need to stop by Target and get some, get some things. Okay. I hope I sleep good today. I'm so tired of not sleeping good. I wake up lately. I've been waking up like every other hour. I put sleep tea in here, so hopefully that helps. Inositol is so good to have. 
at the end of the day especially but also like it helps break down sugar and additionally if you drink like today i had wine inositol is really good for you so cheers to the new year we're cheersing with not just wine today but also magnesium oh too much magnesium tonight that's not good we're gonna chug mm. i forgot to record this oh that's disgusting it's like fart in your mouth that's what i would is disgusting sometimes i get the proportions just right and I, you can't taste it but today is not the day okay chug it's like almost as bad as taking a shot of alcohol like a straight up shot Whew. okay now my stomach is like about to explode because of I just chug the tea and chug that. Let's go do our skincare routine. I think I'm gonna do, I think I'm gonna do a face mask in bed. Why not? Let's do it. Okay, I do have a little bit of self tanner on my face, which I want to like, I wanna keep my face tan, but I think I'm going to exfoliate and then put on new tanner so that way tomorrow my face is like nice and looking fresh. Ugh is a very humbling look okay these are like the best things ever in my opinion first we're gonna wipe our face i like to use witch hazel oil because i feel like it really helps take everything off especially soft tanner but also if your skin is like breaking out or just like not thriving it's really helpful i have been terrible with drinking water lately so i'm kind of worried about the repercussions of that but i'm praying then nothing bad happens. <laughs> Look at that. Took so much self tanner off. Okay, next step, we're just gonna do a gentle cleanse and then we'll do the face mask. And I'm actually just gonna use this guy right here. Even though technically I should be using this one. Whatever. I think what would be smart actually is for me to go to TJ Maxx tomorrow because I still need to get a few things from TJ Maxx that I thought that I'd be able to get at Home Goods, but I wasn't able to. But anyways, I was going to use this clarifying mask, but I'm going to skip out on it and use this Kiehl's pore cleansing mask. This is a little bit stronger and I haven't done it in a while. But anyways, what I was going to say is it would be smart for me to go to TJ Maxx to get some colored towels so that way I can use them on my face. This is so funny. But anyways, so I could use them on my face whenever I have self tanner on. But anyways, let's put this mask on. And it's supposed to be on your face for how long? I like how it doesn't tell you how long to keep it on for. This is so funny. It doesn't tell, it tell you how long to keep it this. Okay, I guess I'll have to Google it. We're just going to put it on. I'll have to Google it. All right. According to Google, we keep this on for 10 minutes. My skin feels so good and honestly it looks so clear. I should do this way more frequently. Flossed, brushed teeth. I need to use mouthwash, but we're gonna do a little bit of toner. Then we're gonna do the self-tanning drops and then moisturizer. Also, can't forget eye cream. Moisturizer. Heels. I forgot to say that I've been adding this to my eyebrows every single night. 